Uh, what is up, gamers? We are here for the CGT. It's week one. This is going to be a good time, folks. We're battling up against Sven Thune, uh, coach of the Uppsala Umbreons, I believe, in this league. Maybe three Electrons, I don't remember. But we're battling against Sven. This is like the sixth time we've battled Sven. It's always a good time. We always beat him due to luck. So, uh, fingers crossed that, that happens again. That would, would be... Uh, bad thing but uh yeah we're battling this super super early because Sven is going to worlds which is happening this week and so uh we're battling like almost a week early which is you know it's fine i haven't even done my uh, draft analysis yet but it should be a lot of fun uh we're bringing set up volcarona and set up uh celestila and uh it should be an interesting one we're also bringing spiritum which is our lowest tier pokemon and uh he brings everything that we figured we'd see uh is there anything that i didn't expect i don't know what silva is gonna do but I always lose to it, so I'm not looking forward to it. Um, no Tauros, no Yuxi, no Cloyster. Those are the big ones, but yeah, this is probably the six that we fear with the most likely. Um, I can lead Spiritomb if I expect the Gapdos lead, because that's quite a solid lead against us. We could also lead the Celebi if we expect like a Seismitoad or even a Salazzle lead. Um... I feel like this is probably the best bet. I don't have Defog, unfortunately, but uh, I figured it would be okay if we didn't. Um, yeah, I think this is probably our best lead, just because I feel like Gapdos is so likely. We do have a Scarf Celebi that could potentially speed tie it if they're also max speed Scarf, which is scary. Same for our Quiverdance Volcarona, but Quiverdance Volcarona does go kind of crazy. He's got to have a Silvalli to check that, I want to say. Um, Celesteela needs chip on the Coco, and potentially the Silvalli as well. Um, also, if they're like Scarf on anything, that could be problematic for Celesteela. But Collective Sven, this should be a lot of fun. Also, I'm doing face cam for this season, and uh, I got to get used to it. I'm not going to remember during the battle that I'm off camera, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to be careful about that. But I hope you like the layout. Addison made it for me. Really appreciate her doing that for me. Also for inviting me to the league. And uh, we see the Coco lead. Okay. Not what we wanted to see, I'll be honest. We have Lantern as our always switch into this thing. If he U-turns, that's inconvenient for sure. Uh, if we predict the U-turn, then we could, you know, will o -Wisp or something. But I think it's better to just go Lantern. He can go Seismitoad, get his rocks up, but I think then we can just, you know, play around it from there. Because we still at least have the Celebi that we can go into and potentially set up our own rocks. And if he clicks anything besides U-turn, yeah, that's why we couldn't stay in. That does a lot. That could be specs, honestly, because we're very bulky. Um, how bulky are we? Oh, we're fizzed out. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, I'm going to go for a Toxic. I don't think Salazzle ever comes in here. Um, I guess Ferrothorn could. Which makes me kind of want to... Volt Switch. Because if Seismitoad comes in, we have a better switch into that. And I still get, like, leftovers and everything. There's the U-turn. And I want to see if he goes Seismicode or Ferrothorn. Dang it. Could have gotten a Toxic off on this thing. That's fine. Uh, I expect Rocks to go up here. But we can trade Rocks at the worst. Uh, yeah, I'll go into this. We have Boots on our Volk, so that's okay. I had to take a uh, baton pass off of this thing. I didn't want U-turn because of the uh, Ferrothorn, of course. But uh, it is a little bit inconvenient. Um, we should also trick if we expect the Ferro to come in. That could be really nice. Uh, yeah, I think I want to go for that. Uh, 
Hopefully this is Pharaoh. It is, sweet. So this thing's locked into whatever it has, and we can set up rocks now. Uh, we are slower than the Gapdos of its scarf now, but I think that's okay. He was Rocky Helmet, good to know. And I'll take a Rocky Helmet, honestly, and we'll set up rocks now. We can find out what he's going to go for, probably like a knockoff or something like that, maybe spikes. But if he goes for like spikes, then we can potentially just set up all over this thing. Okay, he does go for spikes. Uh, I'm very tempted to go into uh, our Bootsmon. What does he go into if he expects that? The Seismitoad? The Silvali? I think this is probably our best bet because we can set up a sub on this thing if he stays in, and it covers, like, the uh, other things that I think could come in. I don't think he goes Coco. Gapdos. Unfortunate. <laughs> it's not what we wanted to see. Because we are two hit KO'd by Brave Bird after all these hazards on Spear Tomb. Yeah, we still have to go into it though. The thing is, he should get chipped down quite a bit between like Brave Bird, Rocky Helmet, Shadow Sneak, and everything like that. Thunderous kick, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Willow here. Nothing really appreciates that. Hopefully it goes into a physical mon. That Pharaoh, okay. go into here. I could go Keldeo again. Yeah, I'll just do Keldeo again. I think this time he might put knock off. Toxic. Okay. Celesteela would have been beautiful there. But I don't think we have enough chip on everything to really go for game. Really unfortunate that we're toxic now, though, because uh, it means that our sub is useless. Uh, I'm going to click Toxic, though. I think that's our best play. If he stays and he clicks Toxic again, inconvenient, but like, yeah, I don't think that's his play. I think he goes into the Seismic Code. Yeah. So we do finally get our Toxic on this thing, which is nice. Or not. Guess not. Fate said no. Uh, now we gotta go into Celebi, I think. This is probably pretty obvious, but uh, we can at least try and set up with one of our offensive threats on this thing. Alright, I guess we'll get Helmet Chip. Uh, 
And I think I just go for the Giga Drain. Psychic is pretty safe as well. Uh, I think Ferrothorn comes in here though, which means we go Selly. Wish I had Baton Pass on Celebi for sure. Um, yeah, I'll go Selly. We'll try and set up on the Pharaoh. Yep. We click Autonomize. And pray. I think it's probably a good thing that he stays in. We could auto again if we want to, to try and get boost depending on what he goes for. Leaf Seed, okay. I'm gonna go for Meteor Beam here. I'm hoping I can get another... Oh, okay. That's cool. But yeah, I'll take that. If this thing's scarfed and it dies, that's, like, ideal. If this is a scarfer. Are you kidding me? That sucks. We can't hit any of our 90% accurate moves today. Uh, we got an Air Slash now. And hope that he's not Scarf. This is fair though, because I always hack Sven. Okay, this kills him, we're fine. Okay. We'll take that. Because now with another boost, we might be able to kill everything. He needs to have a Scarf, I think. Or the, the Silvalli, potentially. But like Coco or Salazzle needs to be scarfed, I think, right now. But yeah, this is a good position for our Celesteela. That's a new Pokemon, yeah. If this thing is scarfed, then that's not perfect. But uh, if it's not, then we should kill it with Air Slash. It is. Okay. Can you still live this, please? Dang it. But he's locked into Flamethrower. Which makes me want to Quiver Dance. Yeah, I'm just going to Quiver Dance. You can't stop both of us. <laughs> if this doesn't work, then he just wins. Like, if the Silvalli can deal with us. But, if it can't, we'll just try again later. Maybe I should have calc this first to see how much we take. <laughs> that was probably a bad idea. I probably should have gone like Keldeo. I forgot that we don't resist and that he's faster than us for both of the flamethrowers. Yeah, I think Keldeo was our play there now that the bird is gone. Oh, never mind. We take that. Never mind. We don't take that. I don't have Giga Drain. That's a brave move by him, though. Let me calc this.
Bug Buzz is doing 50%. Yeah, that's not enough. Unfort. Probably should have just gone for an attack, but it's okay. I think here we have to go Keldeo. Actually, no, we can go this thing. Uh, do we Pain Split or do we Willow? Uh, I'm gonna Pain Split. I don't think we're in a winning position anymore, but. Uh, Hopefully we can still get it with the Volcarona. We need this thing down for sure though. If we had Giga Drain, I think he'd be in trouble. Uh, we won't get a ton back from this. But we can at least see what he locks into. Oh, <laughs> we got <laughs> negative bet, unfortunate. Uh, I think we're just sneakier. If we had Nightshaded there, I think we probably would have been able to knock this thing out with Sneak, but uh, this thing's not super important for us anymore, so I'm just gonna sneak, see what he locks into. Uh, oh, okay. Now he's locked into that. We'll take it. I'm not rest. So this means we can nightshade. Or we can Willow. What's better? I think it's better than Nightshade. Doesn't let us take that out. That's fine. He goes into Coco. Okay. Glad I didn't switch into something then. Uh, do I just pain split here on the off chance that U turns? That's probably what I do. I could sneak, but I don't think that matters because everything that will kill it will kill it already. So yeah, let's go for Pain Split. Hope he U-turns. Yeah, there's the Gleam. That's what we figured would come out, but he wasn't worth. Now we can go into Volk if we want to. Um, it's that or Lantern. Uh, I'm going to try and Toxic the Seismic to it, I think. Because that's our only win done, is if we get the seismic code chipped. We should still take a D Gleam. And we might have to just try and set up on this thing. Oh, never mind. Does he go into Pharaoh? Because if he goes into seismic code, that'd be appreciated. He does, okay. Perfect. So we do finally get that off. It's probably too little too late, but if we can knock this thing out somehow, then I think we've got a shot. It again depends on what the Silvali type is, of course. Uh, I expect an earthquake right here, so we have to sack this thing. I don't think Skull's the right play in case, like, he's Water Absorb, of course. Uh, I'll Volt Switch. Yep, there's the Earthquake. 
We have to go into Keldeo and try and get this thing in range of Volcarona. Is our only option. If we had a uh, Giga Drain over Bug Buzz, I think we would have been able to take this, honestly. But that's fine. It happens. And again, it depends on what the sub all is, of course. Uh, I think I want to sub first, try and get some Toxic Chip up. But if he just switches out here, then I think he has it. Yeah. Good play. I think our play is to go hard Volcarona. Because uh, that's our only shot of winning, I think, is to try and catch the thing switching in. If we had hit it with like a bug buzz on the switch in, then I think we might have a shot. But again, if he has a symbolic one, okay, yeah. Good place, Ben. That'll be game for sure. Uh, I think we just have to try and go for diff now at this point. Uh, we go for bug buzz because they're the strongest thing to hit seismic code. And there's no shot to be let's just QD up here. Yeah. We have to hope that he's in range of another bug. Oh, is that a crit? We could have just killed this thing and won. That's so upsetting. That's so sad. If we had just gone for game, we had it. I'm so bad. I should have just, you know, calc that. All right, well, we just bug buzz again, I guess. He can still just go Coco and everything, and like, he's got this game at this point. But that's really upsetting that I could have just won the game. Go so volley. at least let me see what type it is. But yeah, between the Scarf Salazzle and the Coco, like, there's no shot of him now. Dang, that hurts. He just barely lives that. Uh, I think our play is to hope that he didn't creep this thing, which isn't the play. So we'll just fire dance. Yeah, this should kill us. Never mind, we'll get another kill. That's nice. But he just goes Coco and knocks us out. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't just go for a game with the Volcarona when we had the chance to. Uh, I don't know what his stats were on the Seismitoad, though. Because we should have only been doing, like, 40% when we're at plus one. He must have had, like, no bulk. Yeah, he was, like, no bulk Volcarona, and we could have just smoked it. But yeah, good game to spend. We'll start the season 0-1, which is really not where you want to be in this league, because every game matters. But uh, I can't complain. Sven played well, and he finally got his win against me, so you know. Uh, I'm happy for him. I figured it would happen eventually. We should go down to Spikes here. Um, yeah, I'm not too upset with how we played this. I think that uh, it was a tough matchup. Uh, I, was, I was not looking forward to having to fight the Coco specifically. But uh, he played it really, really well. Uh, he will get the kill for Coco instead, which is nice. But, um, 
yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the season. It should be a lot of fun. We're playing a bunch of really, really cool coaches. And uh, I think that was a 3-0. So it could be worse. Um, can't really complain. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back here next week where we're playing. I think we're playing Addison week two. So that should be a ton of fun. Uh, that's like two weeks off from me. But uh, for you guys, it'll be next weekend. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.